Finchley? Yes? You've forgotten the coffee again. Again? Yes, you've forgotten the coffee again. Oh, I've forgotten the coffee again. That's what I said. All right, I heard you the first time. Polly, stop filing your fingernail. Peter, stop reading your comic book. And Sybil, stop doing whatever it is you're not supposed to be doing. Yes, Daddy. <clears throat> Geometry. Mm. Ah, uh, Peter, that's what you ought to be reading. Something educational. There's a good girl. Butter, Sybil. <coughs> sit down and finish your <coughs> breakfast. <coughs> Peter, please Will you give me sit my down book. this minute. Bodies fused in a tangle of heat as ero... Don't sit down. Go on. As erotic skin touched erotic skin, Sybil. Sorry, dear. Do go on. It's absolutely filthy. Oh, is it, darling? I'm so sorry. No, the book, the book. Oh, really? It's banned in England. No, it's not. It sells very well in Soho. You know who's going to hear about this immediately, don't you? Your grandfather. I think you're growing up too soon, girl Twinkie, I think you're growing up too soon I never met a girl like this for me Dumb but pretty like a schoolgirl should be Twinkie, I think you're growing up too soon, girl Take a look at her 16 summers and a month or two A grown-up lover when the girls can't see you Twinkie You've woken up too soon Pretty crazy, dizzy as a daisy That's the game you play Then you kiss and give the game away And I forget about the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike All I see is a devil who looks like Twinkie! I think you're growing up too soon, girl You try to live it up too soon Hidden by a great big grin She's got something that the class can't share in Twinkie! You'll break your heart too soon A little gal type, a sort of tinker bell type Clowning all you can When we touch I feel like Peter Pan And I forget about the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike All I see is a Jezebel just like Twinkie! I think you're growing up too soon, girl You try to live it up too soon Sixteen summers and a month or two A grown-up lover when the girls can't see you Twinkie! You've woken up too soon a little gal type, a sort of Tinkerbell type, clowning all you can. When we touch, I feel like Peter Pan. And I forget about the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike. All I see is a Jezebel just like Twinkie. I think you're growing up too soon, girl. Twinkie. You try to live it up too soon, girl. Who publishes scandalous filth like that? Bunton and Bunton, eh? Signorina up! Si? Well, they'll be hearing from me too. Take a letter, Signorina, to uh, Bunton and Bunton. Dear sirs, will you kindly send me under plain cover?
Lots more here. <laughs> All right. You go in the kitchen then and see if you can't learn to make a proper breakfast. Oh, talking about
Well, he's disgusting, filthy. I don't know why he wanted to read trash like that. I really don't see what the fuss is all about. Where are the dirty bits, darling? Oh, God. Ah, oh, what the hell. It's not all that bad. Don't worry about it. Well, there's a bit more. Well, this diary was under your pillow, and I'm afraid Mummy just couldn't help taking a little peek. I I'm in a muddle as to whether to tell you something or not. Well, now, Twinkie, if you have something to tell me, I think you ought to do it. What is it? Well, I have this diary with just everything in it that Mummy keeps getting at. Oh, well, I thought you meant something else. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> A diary with everything in it? Yes, everything. You mean like what happened Monday? Oh, crikey, no. I haven't got that far yet. I always run a good week behind. Just what the hell is in this diary exactly? Everything that happened the first time you took me out. Mm. Darling, why do some boys' names have a capital <laughs> after them? He traded you. Traded me? For what? For the telephone number of a swinging secretary. Is that all? No, oh, by golly, that's not all. He still owes me another girl. Lots of perfectly innocent words begin with What? <laughs> Darling. <laughs> no, 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 not my little Twinkie. What's the age of consent in this country? Sixteen. Sixteen? How do you know? Every girl knows that. Anyway, I already checked with Daddy's lawyer. You did what? She wants to know what? My dear. My dear child, but I don't think... Well, I know it's a very simple question, but... I... Sixteen. Sixteen. Under that, it's... But well, I'm not very strong on me criminal law, but as far as I can remember... It's statutory rape. No, no, no. Statutory rape. No, wait, wait. Listen, listen. I said statutory rape. Would you say that, please? Uh, yes. Oh, that. Seven years. Look, please, miss. Don't ask it. I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of a meeting. I'm in the, just hold on. Uh, we're in the middle of a meeting, aren't we? Yeah. I've got a friend. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. You little nut. He might have rang your father. He did. Straight away. He did. Yes. No, Scott. He's home. No. Listen to me. Listen. My parents made me. <laughs> Sybil, for the last time, did you or did you not? All right, I did, I did, but it wasn't his fault. Damn it, whose fault was it? 
was it? It wasn't him. I'm sure it wasn't, darling. No. I made him. I wanted to. We're in love. <laughs> darling, how wonderful. <laughs> oh, Daddy, please, now can I have my transistor radio back? They made me confess. Honestly, they did. I promise they made me. They made me. Daddy immediately called the family discussion. What's well, a family discussion? Oh. It's a thing we do. Before I get down to the maiden item, does anybody wish to bring anything up? I do. Yes? My lunch, those fritters were all... Fr out of order! Uh, no, it isn't, darling. Uh, Mrs. Finchley had it repaired. What? The, uh, the downstairs loom. Oh, God. You were put on trial? No, you were. Me? Grandfather gets one and a half votes. He said he was already. Tommy? Mm hmm? You'll vote. Ah. All right, now they put on trial this uh, nymph fetishist. How did they? Who? Me. How? What did you call yourself? Uh, Twinkie, how did they vote? The vote is six and a half to take action against this man. Six and a half against me. Grandfather has one and a half votes. One for the mother, one for the father. Three quarters, three quarters and a half. That means the whole family voted against me, including you. Well, you were wrong, Scott. Then what? Legal action, silly. Oh, come on, Scott. It's only a family confab. Wait a minute. Are they or are they not going to prosecute? She is. He's a what? An American. <laughs> I'll have to have a peep in the Immigration Act. <laughs> You see, the point is that there's nothing in law against anybody's uh, sleeping. Uh, no, no, look, the thing to do is, you see, is to have a mate, a ward of court. Yes. You see, yes, right away. And you see, now, once she is made a ward of court, and if he sees her, he can get anything up to three years and deportation. Holy smokes. English law's pretty stiff. I'm going to have to appear before a judge. Great, so. Scott, let me try and explain to you about the English law. Now, our case will be heard by one of two judges. First, Judge Roxburgh. Mm. If we go before Rocky, I don't much fancy your chances. It only remains, therefore, for me to pass sentence upon you. He's a friend of Daddy's. I refer to hanging. Unfortunately, even flogging has been removed for this offence. I therefore sentence you to the maximum penalty which I am permitted. Of course, you might be lucky and get Judge Millington Draper. Now, he's a friend of Mummy's, hates Daddy's time, refused his title, rejected his commission, and what's more, he has an American grandmother. I sentence you to have your driving license suspended for one year. You will have your driving license suspended for one year. And find you the sum of 40 pounds. And you will be fined 40 pounds. And let that be a warning to you. The law will not tolerate throwing litter on the streets. And I will have to take sterner measures if you appear before me again for rape. That's right, Roxburgh. I thought this only happened to English heiresses who had affairs with cockney cab drivers. Well, it can happen to anyone under 21. I'll tell the authorities a few scandals about our family. Well, that was during the war. No, two summers ago. There was a German camper hiking across Grandfather's farm. Churchill may have signed a peace treaty, but I haven't. He could have been Swiss. Good Godfathers, he may have been Swiss. Yeah, what's happening to me? I make one uncool move with a nutty 16-year-old kid and suddenly my whole world is turned upside down. You know, up to now, I didn't even like girls under 30 years old. Scott, what do you like about me? I like the great way you prepared my breakfast this morning. And I like the fact that you keep a diary. Most of all, I like the level on which we communicate. Mm. 
in the rare occasions that we do. Excuse me, this is Mr. Wardman's residence, isn't it? Oh, yes. Come in. Thank you, miss. Is your daddy in? Huh? Mr. Wardman. Oh, he's not my daddy. He's my boyfriend. I'm Scott Wardman. Can I help you with uh, anything? Oh, sorry to trouble you, sir. We've had an inquiry from the Home Office. It appears your visa's out of date, sir. You do realize that under the Aliens Act, this is a serious offense, sir. It means that you have 24 hours to leave the country. Unless you rectify it. Uh, sorry, sir. They can't chuck Scott out of the country. Let me handle this. 24 hours. Would you gentlemen like some tea? Twinkie. We've just had our tea, thank you. I'll bet you chaps don't know who you're talking to. Wait. Scott Wardman, the famous writer. Now look, his book's so good it's even been banned in England. Yes, that's right, Sergeant. It says banned in UK. Yes. She's really put you in it now, sir. Yep. Oh, gosh, am I? Yep. But don't worry, sir. That's not our department. We will, of course, have to mention it to the right department, sir. Oh, and you will check up on that visa, won't you, sir? But I will, Sergeant, and thank you for coming. Excuse me, sir. How old's that girl? Sixteen. And you're thirty-eight? Tell me you're joking, sir. All right, I'm joking. I'm only thirty-two. Thank you. I don't want my last memories of you smeared with chocolate. Don't say that. Don't say what? Last memories. Mm. I love it when you smile at me. Oh, Scott, I just remembered. Our school's got a hockey match on Saturday. Can we go? A hockey match? Oh, Twinkie. Twinkie. Hockey matches and chocolate bars. Hasn't anything that happened this morning or anything that we talked about sunk into your head? By next Saturday, I might be thrown right out of the country or what's worse, in jail. Hell, this is not an affair. A massacre of the innocents. That's the most selfish thing I've ever heard.
me. I love you too. When the sunny days come along, and she's the dawn, and like the dawn, she brings the sunny days to a lonely year. And then the lonely year turns around. And she's today and the days to come for the lonely illegal in this country. It isn't in Scotland. You have to be 21 years old. Not in Scotland, 16. Want to ask Daddy's lawyers? 16 with your mummy and Daddy's consent. Without. Read the newspapers. Are you forgetting about the court? I'm liable to get 10 years of hard labor. We do it today, silly. Fly straight up and register. We can be back by tonight easily. I get them to send me down to Grandfather's for a week, then back up to Glasgow to do the dirty tea. I've worked it all out. I'll bet you have. <laughs> Man, I can think of 50 reasons why our marriage wouldn't work. Name one. Hey, that's lovely. Well, we're what? like chalk and cheese. What? Different backgrounds, different interests. Oh, hell, what's the use? It wouldn't last six months. You haven't understood one word of what I've been saying. Yes, I have. It may not have occurred to you, Scott Warman, but some people in love just marry because they love each other. Ah, uh, what do you know about love? Straight A. <laughs> Winky. Twinky, what about fidelity? Get that too. sitting here, trying to figure just what it is that's happening to me. Oh, Scotty, you'll be my mummy and daddy, sweetheart and teacher, all rolled into one, and my super new grandfather. Two tickets, uh, no, one yeah. and a uh, half Sorry? tickets to Glasgow. I do. I do. I 
That'll be five pounds. And two shillings and sixpence for the stamp. Just a minute. Oh, aye. And ten shillings apiece for your witnesses. Come on, Mum, come on. Catching up with you, so don't let go today. Go where the wind blows. Just stop at Hertz and rent a breeze, and you'll be on the way. Like a colored balloon. of every TV comic in England. <laughs> when they booked into their honeymoon hotel, they didn't get the bridal suite, they had the romper room. <laughs> I think he's a dirty old man. Well, I think he's rather dishy. I happen to know he baths every day. Oh, you're so naive. She's a little girl. She's a little girl. But she had the makings of an excellent secretary. Are you going to have a honeymoon? 
Well, I should like to go to New York for a couple of weeks. But Grandfather did say something about the farm. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Why don't you bring down some of your schoolgirl friends that you brought last Easter? We'll all never forget that. <laughs> all right, children. Bath time. Come on, come on now. We're all going to blow bubbles. You start the bubbles. He's so much like Grandfather. I bet your parents had a few things to say to him about that. They're saying them to him right now. So you see, old man, my accountant's going to have to have a serious word. And my solicitor, something about a will. Well, I don't have a will. And every man of your age should have a will. I uh, enjoyed the chapter where they both have a bath in olive oil. Right now, what about her education? I'm not going to let her give that up. Not for this marriage. She's had her appendix out. But I expect you've noticed that. I have friends in high places who are investigating you, my man. Tell me, what is the... Problem? I know your type. You just make sure that you don't get her started on drugs. She's got a lot more visits to the dentist. She keeps her room very tidy. Mrs. Finchley, that's a lie. She does. She does not. Now, you must see that she gets enough sleep. Uh, if you can manage it. It won't last. It won't last six months. thinking what it might be like living in the same country with you and your relatives. <laughs> Should be absolute havoc. If you want me, just whistle. I'm trained. <laughs> hey! Hey! You didn't whistle! Scotty!
<laughs> okay, now can I get down? Down? You mean up and in? No, you no, I here. mean down and out. Now look here. You whistle. You have to keep your word. You whistle, that means you want me. Scotty? Still climbing trees after birds, my love? Hello, Ursula. Chicks, at any rate. Now, let's get it straight, Scott, you dear snake up a ladder. Having taken my eyes off you for seven weeks, is there any point in clapping them back on? Well, judge for yourself. This is my wife. Liar. Oh? Monster, then. Best of British luck, little one. Thanks a lot. Sorry about that. It's okay. Who married you? I don't care if you warmed up with dozens. Poor deprived old thing. Hey! Where are you going? I told you to make reservations. What reservations? You didn't. I just did. Reservations for what? Not what. Where? Yes, as soon as he gives his lawyer the book. The book, he went all that way and all that time to write. That's the surprise, right? The book. They have the same surprise for all of them. Oh, well, I'll see if I can guess what it is. Now, wait a minute. Let's it's wait, not a wait book. Wait a minute. Uh, let me think. A wife. Uh, a wife. A, a what? What? Oh! Did, did you say a, a? I did you see. She got it. <laughs> oh, nice. Well, congratulations, boy. Huh? What happened to oh, the book? Pretty? Uh, what happened to the book? It's going to come right down those stairs, so look pleased. Smile. Please. What kind of word is that? 
Oh, darling, we're overjoyed. Just overjoyed. Well, why did she come down there? Why didn't she come with you? Immigration. Oh. oh. British pub. Oh, An alien yeah, woman. An English girl. Oh, some of them are very lovely. Oh, is that her there? Yeah, yeah, the blonde. Uh, 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 neither one. Neither oh, one. you men think you could know better than a mother what her own son would marry. I don't believe it. She's all of 13 years old. Eleven. Uh, <laughs> Never let him leave home. Oh, it won't be alimony, it'll be child support. Hey, look. There's the Queen Elizabeth sailing out. No, it can't be. We bought it and we made it into Never, a No, you bought the Queen Mary. First we did that. <laughs> Will it sue for whatever it is? There's the battery. It really belongs to you because the British built it. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, I'm sure. Mom, the battery's over that side. What is the battery, anyhow? Pops, what is the battery and where is it? It's a line of a batters in a baseball team. Gee. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking what it's going to be like living in the same country with you and my parents and trying to write a novel at the same time. Son, she's as perky as an 18-year-old. She's 16, Bob. 16? Well, how old do you think she is? 16. But some women look younger than they are. Look, in between marrying children, you got to remember, we got deals. We got our signature in a half a dozen companies, all penniless. Well, our little 16-year-old wife is a tax-deductible item. What more do you want? For you not to have to write any more commercials. She's got to go to school. Uh, the fact that she's married, don't change a thing. I got a friend, he had a case about it. No, Same thing. it's going in the right direction. It's like going they in the said in court, going. it's a state law. She has to go to school until she's 18, or has gotten a high school diploma. What does she need with a high school diploma? Scotty's taught her the facts. No. <laughs> what did she do for a living? Well, Bob, she didn't do anything for a living. She was going to school. Like she'll have to do here. Right in there, first door on the left. There's a pink towel with animals. That's for you. It used to belong to Scotty when he was a little boy. Oh! Huh. Thanks, huh? She won't go to no school after I filled in the facts. Now, that's it. Will you relax? Like and I said, you? it's a state law. Well, it doesn't cover married women. It does. Hey, come on, Pop. Where is she, your father? I think I Look, am. in order to be a married woman, you have to be an adult in the eyes of the law and female. Are you sure about that? Well, she's female, isn't she? Scott married her, didn't Look, he? Look, she won't have to go to no school after I give out the information. Now, that's it. And I want you to relax and leave everything to me. Now, just trust me, will you? Will you please trust me? We're going to go out and look for an apartment. Whose? Maybe ours, I hope. With more room than this. Hey, who wants more room? It's just perfect here. Get us an apartment, the pal, old buddy. You got a point. So I'll try Park Avenue. Oh, Scott! Good <laughs> school. 
school kids may seem cool to you, but you're forgetting. She needs clothes, she catches colds, and she never stops asking for things. And it's gonna involve expenses that you can't afford. You ain't earning enough as it is. Hell, don't worry, I'll make the money now that I got someone to make it for other than you. Hey, hey, look, I don't need your 10%. I got clients all over. And my new officers, you should see them. Grand Central Station and two secretaries you wouldn't believe. You're right. Huh? I don't. Don't what? Ah, forget it, Hal. What is this, an accident? Oh, no, would you believe it? A demonstration in front of the school. Stay with him. Three, stay with him. tonight. Will you trust me? Will you please just trust me? I explained everything to the captain. All right, explain everything to me. What am I doing here? Now, why can't you get me out now? Because of a formality. Look, you gotta go before the judge so you can get dismissed. Listen, you have nothing to worry about. I'll be right there with you. That's what worries me. Hey, can they keep me here overnight? Are you kidding? Are you kidding? We'd sue their asses. Listen, I'm seeing a friend in City Hall. It may cost us a fast 50. Is that necessary? Will you relax? What are you worrying about? Just relax. I'll see you in court. You'll be home by six. 30 days. Listen, darling, can't I help in any way? Couldn't I get a part-time job after school to help pay for the barrister? Barrister? Oh, me? Yeah, you can get a job from hey, Len Glass. Hey, to take care of it. All right, I'll take care of it. Lesson number one, never go into Central Park after dark. You'll get raped. Everybody does, which is exactly why they go in there. All right, Hal, never mind the jokes. Just take care of her, huh? I'll visit you every day. I don't want you to visit me. It's too degrading. Sweetheart. Oh, I hate this class. I hate his gone. Twinkie. 
Try to put up with my mother's crying. There'll be a lot of it for the next few days. Might be for real this time. <laughs> Remember, I love you. I'm not getting out of here for ten more days. Where'd she go? I'm sorry, son. I wish I knew. She just left a note and vanished. What'd the note say? Well, I, 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 her handwriting was difficult to read, but she said, uh, Dearest Scott, I can't stand making Mom cry anymore. to do but keep watching your wife I said it took me over 20 years to get away from my mother's crying she did it in two weeks Scott was here, not you. Hmm. Twinkie is renting an apartment, and I need 
119 River East Drive. Let me have two cents plain, will you? Put a little chocolate in there while you're at it. No messages from me, huh? Just gave you one. Hey. I've been looking for this kid all over the place. I even had private eyes. How did you find her? She didn't have to be found. If you'd phoned your secretary, you would have known. She phoned this message in four or five days ago, though. Hey! You owe me $4.72 plus that pretzel, $4.73. This is gross inefficiency. Hey, $5.06! <laughs> Don't you want me to come up with you? This is my surprise. Well, who got you the remission? I got me remission. That's gratitude for you. Can I help you, sir? Going up to 90. Oh, 90. Miss uh, Twitty Londonderry. No, Mrs. Wardman. Mrs. Wardman? Yeah, Mrs. Wardman. Mrs. You must be mistaken. 90 is Miss Twinkie Londonderry. Somebody's little English girl. My. My wife. Is that so? We're gonna have to check it out, pal. So come along with me. Hey, now, wait a minute. I wanted to surprise you. Michael, the father. Well, I did. Oh, Dad. Would you like to meet him? 
Yeah, sure. Mouse? We have mice? No, silly. Wait. Mouse? Mouse? Oh. Hey, a cat. It's a cat. Mm -hmm. Come here, I missed you so much that if you'd been away any longer, I might have had to get an elephant. You shouldn't call this cat mouse. Hmm? You'll give it an inferiority complex. Call it dog. Why? It'll give it a superiority complex. Oh. Huh? Forget it. Can you? was a real baby. A baby? Yes. Well, suppose we had a baby and we were both working. Who would take care of it? The cat? <laughs> no. Can't lean too heavily on Mouse. He's got enough problems of his own. Sure he has. Come on. Hey, Scott. Listen, if I did have a baby, I'd get rid of all my dolls. Even Wilhelmina? Ah, well. Oh, well. Please don't ever leave me. Don't ever leave me. I won't leave you, Twinkie. Come on. Come on. always maintain that you went temporarily insane. No, really, I know a head shrinker in Brooklyn for a fast 50 under the table. Stop. Stop trying to prove things, Phil. The marriage is going to work. Yeah, but what about her? What does she know about love? She's got a teenage crush on you. Hell, emotionally, you're a big fat zero. I'll tell you what, be my friend, but not my lawyer. No more unasked for advice, okay? Hey. Don't you think maybe you're a bit off more than you could chew? I'm holding my own. Yeah. Well, she'll want more, you'll have to deliver. Comes the heart attacks. <laughs> there you go. Now, don't say thank you. Well, what for? Look, lady, you busted my boat. Better for the lightsaber. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Al. As a friend or a lawyer, you come up with a better way to go. Tell me.
I can't get you another advance on the new book. I mean, they want pages, and you ain't delivering. Don't push. It'll happen. Give me some time. All right, time. Look, I'll get you a couple of commercials. I mean, I know it ain't what you want, but at least it pays. All right, get a few. As you say, it's bread. Hey, you see? After that, commercials. The Great American Novel. Son of Yellow Sin. Yellow Sin returns. Daughter of Yellow Sin. I waited for you to pick me up. Oh. That's okay. Twinkie, I'm sorry. I got involved, I guess I forgot. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is it going well? Well, it was. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. How was school? It was all right. I had a stand-up argument. They tried to tell me the British burned Washington. Well, they did. No, they didn't. They burned Joan of Arc. Mouse! Mouse, where are you? Mouse! You forgot to feed the cat. I fed it. Well, his bowl's empty. That's because he ate it. Oh, pretty cat. That was Washington, D.C. they burned. Huh? The city. Oh. Where's Wilhelmina? Look under there. I leave her on the settee every day while I'm at school under your care and protection. Because Mouse is jealous of her and he scratches her face and pulls her hair, don't you, Mouse? That's ridiculous, a cat jealous of her. Maybe it's because it has starey eyes. It's very childish of you. She's just a doll. I know that, Twinkie. When were you? I just said it, didn't I? There's nothing on this. Are you working or not? Not. What? Not now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's my fault, isn't it? I won't bother you ever again. Just that I love you so much. Twinkie, maybe that's why you bother me so much. All right, silence. You do your work, I'll do mine. I still do wish you'd help me with my homework. Twinkie, it's been 20 years since I did any homework. Boy, 
I'll tell you, it's good to have someone to talk to. Hey, look at that. Huh? You think that's a type dog that eats cats? What do you mean, Mouse? I thought you liked that cat. Last night, that cat had an accident on one of my commercials. That was no accident. That cat doesn't hire me. The only opinion I care about is the sponsors. And what about the public? Mouse is a member of the public, and he watches television all day. How can he do that in the cellar? He likes the cellar. Well, I want him up here. Twinkie, that cat was supposed to be a substitute. I'm here now. Are you? Look, Scotty, the reason you can't write a commercial, much less a book, is that little kid. The reason I can't write a commercial is because I've been writing books. And these commercials, man, are boring. All right, all right. I know I'm right. I'm just waiting for you to find it out. Or her. Remember, it's better to push than be pushed. You know, I can't adjust my whole adult life to a 16-year-old kid that wants to go to bed earlier every night. Oh, it's all right. I understand. You just don't want to make love to me anymore. Not in the street, I don't. What? That's where we'll end up if I don't finish this. You know, Dr. Kinsey says that on an average, you're cheating me. I wonder what Dr. Kinsey's average was when he was writing his own book. I don't know about that. All I know is that three nights in a row now, you sent me to bed while you stay here and play on that silly thing. Play on that silly thing. I want you to know something. I can't sleep without you. Three worst things that could happen to a man is a wife, a wife, and a wife. You multiply that by a child bride, and what do you have? The 12 worst things. What you need is a good smack. Ow! Neutral corner. Neutral corner. I say, Scott, why didn't you go to your neutral corner, too? It's over there, if you've forgotten. I'm in my neutral corner. I think everyone should have them. Then there'd be a lot less wars. We always had ours at home. Otherwise, I think Daddy would have killed Mother. Will you keep quiet over there in your neutral corner? Funny being a washed out divorcee at 16. Just feels like the awful end of everything. I just want to curl up and disappear. Stand here all 
day. Look, if the river police run into any type female body, you'll be the first one they call to identify it. Come on, let's get a cup of coffee somewhere. Look, she's not such a dumb kid. She's gonna come back. Give her credit, will you? She could be anywhere. What, do you expect to look everywhere yourself? I can't just sit around. Well, the cops are looking for her, aren't they? Well, what, what do you think? You can do a better job than the cops? They don't know her. I don't know her. Otherwise, I'd know where to look. Look, Scotty, you're doing a very good job. Wherever she is, she's got to come out to eat, hasn't she? You're right. Let's check every place in the goddamn city. You know, she never did catch on to the traffic. She couldn't remember which way to look. You'd think she could come back for a doll, at least. No. I don't know where else to look. Hey, she's right. Huh? There are scratches on her. Looks all right to me, but then on the wig, that's all. She's right about that, too. Holy smokes. That cat. I haven't fed that cat since she left. Mouse. Psst, 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 psst. Mouse. Come on, Mouse. I'm trying to feed you. Come on, Mouse. Mouse? Hey, Mouse. Come on, Mouse. Hey. Twinkie, do you hate me quite rather a little, or do you hate me quite rather a lot? I love you quite rather a lot. You're not a bad old egg.
Find somebody and it all turns out right Twinkie, I think you're gonna like it soon I divorce thee, I divorce thee, I divorce thee. Take a look, girl, life is like a book, girl, turn the page again. Every chapter's yours right to the end. I can tell you that the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike finds somebody and it all turns out right, Twinkie. I think you're gonna like it soon, girl. I know you're gonna like it soon. Just keep going on your own sweet way. You'll feel better when you reach that new day. Twinkie! You're gonna be there soon. Take a look, girl. Life is like a book, girl. Turn the page again. Every chapter's yours right to the end. I can tell you that the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike Find somebody and it all turns out right. Twinkie! You're gonna be there soon. Take a look, girl. Life is like a book, girl. Turn the page again. Every chapter's yours right to the end. I can tell you that the pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike Find somebody and it all turns out right. Twinkie! I think you're gonna like it soon, girl Twinkie! I know you're gonna be there soon, girl Pretty young girl on a two-wheel bike Find somebody and it all turns out right Twinkie! I think you're gonna like it soon, girl Twinkie! I know you're gonna be there soon, girl Twinkie! 